Welcome back to this war of mine, Fading Embers DLC. We're starting back up at the very beginning of day seven. We had a pretty good haul last night from, I think it was the construction site that we went to. So let's get working. Um, I think I wanna just straight up turn all of my wood into fuel because that's kind of my big limit here. Just need to freaking stay warm. We're both hungry, we're very tired, or I'm very tired anyway. Ruben, I think is severely ill. Yeah, I'm just going to make all the fuel I can. Let's cook if Ruben some food. Not hungry anymore. Let's check the radio. Temperatures are still very low. In besieged Pagoran, firewood is getting harder to come by and people are gathering anything that can be burned. After a night of heroic efforts, the volunteer firefighters withdrew from the fire at the city archives, which is now raging out of control. Thankfully, the most valuable documents and most important records were evacuated before the bombardment. Let's go, um, see if we can make more food, can I? No, I don't have raw food, I just have a lot of vegetables. I do have a filter though, let's go ahead and use that to just make some more water. And then let's go stoke the fire. Okay. Do I have the stuff to make more filters? Actually, before even that, let's go ahead and eat myself, actually. I'm, I'm hungry. Don't have to cook this food because it's canned. Yeah, do I have components at all? Enough to make one filter. How much do I need water? I have 16 water. I mean, I guess I don't need it right now. Can we talk with Ruben? No. Oh, whoops, switch characters. Vegetables still growing. Oh good, it looks like we can still recover our last thing here. Yeah, the sculpture. I was worried it would just get destroyed since I left it overnight. I am actually going to go ahead and make some more water because I don't really have much to do for today. And I'm sure I'll need it in the future. Then I think I'm just going to go stoke the fire up to six and then pass the rest of the day, I guess. Yeah, end the day. Um, I think I need to sleep because I'm very tired. Yeah, not going to be a great sleep because no bed for them, but the night was calm. Good. Ruben's still severely sick. Anja's feeling much better. Everybody's hungry, of course. Oh, we're slightly sick. Oof. Actually, uh, let's go up here and stoke the fire. Very first thing we should do, probably. I assume the colder it is, probably the more likely you are to get sick. So I'll take some of the herbal medication. For some reason, I can't give that to Ruben. Don't know why, but I can take it for myself. Mm, we only have one canned food. I think it's most important that Ruben gets it because they're severely ill. We're only slightly sick. So I think their body needs the better food, more filling food. Since I'm only hungry and not... Oh, someone's at the door. Since I'm only hungry and not very hungry, I don't think I'm going to eat the vegetables myself, actually. I think I'm going to wait to see if I can make more food. If, if I get some raw food, I can cook it. Oh, Melina. Good to see you. 
Can we talk? Hello, Anja. Did you consider my offer? Uh, I did, but with Ruben still recovering, I wasn't ready. Listen, the situation is getting worse every day. The army is targeting cultural landmarks. They want to break our spirit and erase our culture. And what could I do about it? I'm just one person struggling to survive. We have to do all we can. I'm sure your grandpa would agree with me. I suppose my grandpa would want me to be safe. Are you safe here all by yourself? My offer still stands. Take as much as you can and join me in the museum. It's gotta wait for Ruben to get better. I'm gonna stoke the fire. I don't think there's much else to do today. Um, I guess I'll go check the crops. Perhaps they're done. Vegetables are done. I think I'm going to plant herbs next because I have a lot of vegetables. And we need medicine. Although I think herbs would just be used to make herbal medicine, which I apparently can't give to Reuben for some reason. Oh, I can plant more at one time. Because I have multiple fertilizer. Ooh. It's going to give me five herbs. I can also do vegetables, but yeah, I don't need vegetables. Let's make a ton of herbs. And enjoy my cat screaming in the background. <laughs> I am completely out of fuel and I can't make any more right now. And I still need to stoke the fire with one more log. It has to be like fully stoked or... Or I think we're more likely to get sick. And it just won't be warm enough. I'm going to make the light and water sculpture into fuel. Burning art to save lives. I fucking hate war. Let's go stoke the fire. Needs two logs now. And it looks like our bio's changed. Yeah, day six and day eight. Day six. There was a massacre in the Samuel Institute. I saw many dead bodies there. The priceless artwork smashed to pieces. These people were no threat to anyone. Just a helpful community trying to find their way through this horror. Why did this happen to them? Day 8. Milena was here again to remind me of her proposal. She was very firm this time. It seems to me that she cares about the exhibits in her museum more than anything. My situation here is getting more and more difficult. Moving with her might be my only hope. Got a day eight thing for Reuben. Melena came by once again. She insists that we move to the museum and help her protect Pagorn's heritage. It's up to Anja to decide, but I'm afraid this might be our best chance to survive. Let's end the day. All right. Harsh weather conditions. Can't go there. Oh, the abandoned house is new. Ooh, it says danger. Danger means people. There are rumors about a group of bandits using this abandoned house as a hideout. It might be worth sneaking in for supplies, but you'd have to be very careful not to be spotted. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff left at the construction site. Decent amount at the Samuel Institute. Nothing that's not stealing from my neighbor's house, although... Honestly, they're probably dead at this point. I just never had the time and the food to go back to their house and help them out. Let's risk it at the abandoned house. Nothing to bring. Got some pretty good trading items. Next time I can actually trade with somebody. Got the two jewelries. Yep, let's go. I have no weapon of any kind other than my fists, so I'm going to avoid combat altogether. Maybe all the useful things have been looted already. Let's have some hope. Yes. I am going to, like, not run anywhere. Ooh, that would take a very long time to do that. Can I jump up there? Yes. No 
one inside. Okay, there's someone up there. Uh-oh. Uh, they're going down. And there's a hiding spot here. Oh man, this is dangerous. Ooh, they might be about to come up there. Yes, they are. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. And hide. Actually, no. We're fine here. Private property? I don't give a shit. Bandit's private property. Fuck them. Ooh, two foods, three raw. That's good. What the... Did I leave the door open? Oh no, they notice doors that have been left open. Someone must be inside. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Can I just, like... Run? Oh no, oh, I'm about to die. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, that was going so well. I think my only problem is that I didn't realize they can de they detect doors left open. It makes sense. Totally makes sense. Anja died. Anja was killed while looking for supplies. Fuck. Reuben died. Reuben froze to death. Yeah, nobody to take care of him. Oof. You didn't make it. You survived only for nine days. Do you want to continue from the day before? Yes, please. Alright, let's try this again. Everything is done as it was before. There seems to be some randomization with what effects you get in the morning. Uh, like last time I woke up in Anja was slightly sick. This time they weren't. So, that's nice. Back to the abandoned house. Nothing to take. Let's go. Now I know to close the doors behind me. Feeling a bit more confident. Alright, they're gonna go down. Notice that the fridge has been opened. Okay. Let's jump up. Can I jump up? Looks like it's a window that's making this noise right here. But I know there's other people around here, though. Remember, I also have to get out. <laughs> Is there no one in here? There was like three people. Where are the other two people? Oh. How 
How do we get up to the top? Can I get up there? Maybe not. It kind of looks like a place I could be, but I don't think it is. Um, okay, so there's a bunch of people directly below me. Um, I think I see where I want to go. Where are they? Make some noise. Sounds like they're like right next to me. Ooh, that was kind of loud. Okay, they're coming over here. I want to go down there. So I want to go down this ladder and then over. I don't think they're going to come up. No. down here. Oh, there's a back way. If it's unlocked. Oh no. They just opened the door right next to me. I need to run out the back, don't I? Okay. That'll stack. That'll stack. That almost stacks. Do I want to... Uh, I'll toss one sugar cube to take two components. Ooh. Man, that's stressful. Alright, pretty good stuff. A lot of food. Not a lot of things to make fuel with, unfortunately, and no medicine. Which is really bad for Ruben. I need some more freaking medicine. Hope a trader comes. Ruben is pale and coughing all the time. Yep. Hungry and very tired. We're gonna have to sleep. Once again, we can make a chair. Hooray! Just never have the components for anything else. How much fuel do I have right now? I have six, so I don't need to break down the boards. We should both eat. I should make food. Actually, um, I just planted a bunch of herbs, didn't I? So I probably need to make water. Let's make two filters. So I could actually make four foods if I broke down a board into fuel. But, I mean, why make more food than I need right now, right? And it turns out I actually have a ton of water. I guess I got it. Or we just looted. And I wasn't paying attention. So I don't even need to use these filters. Let's just make two bowls and I'll eat one and give the other to Reuben. As far as the radio goes, um... They just announced that our colleague, Jovan, died this morning, shot by a sniper on his way to work. Jesus. I think that's it. Oh, the herbs. Uh, wait. Wait, what? That doesn't look like herbs. Oh, I must have forgotten to plant the herbs yesterday after I reloaded. So this is just the vegetables. Okay, well... Let's plant them now. That's why we had so much water. One of the reasons, anyway. I think that's all I can do for today. And Anja is very tired. So let's end the day. And I think we're going to have to sleep again. <laughs> Ruben is barely moving. This illness is killing him. Did they get worse? Oh yeah, now they're terminally ill. Shit. We are just hungry and tired. Oh, I should stoke this first. I don't have any... Fuck. I need to go break something. Don't I? Well, let me see how much fuel I can make. Three. That'll be enough to stoke it all the way. Not enough to make any food. 
Yeah, I need to go break something. I think I'm gonna have to do this most valuable painting that we have. It's valuable, but you know, it doesn't have that extreme personal, sentimental value, like the wooden Aurochs or family photo album or necklace, stuff like that. And it's worth eight fuel. The walls of the Basilica, weakened by the fire, collapsed last night. The oldest church in Pagoran is now a pile of rubble. All done with what I can do for today. We're fed. And fire stoked. Nothing new. I don't think I want to go back to the abandoned house. There's a huge amount of weapons there. I mean, that's great, I guess, but like... Weapons aren't medicine. I need medicine. Where should I go? Let's, let's try the neighbor's house. Here's what I'm thinking. If they're still alive, and I hope they are, then I can give them the food. If they're not, then it's not really stealing anymore. I'll bring some canned food. Just one? I don't... I don't know if I need a specific amount. I'll just bring both. I really think they're going to be dead. It's been over a week. There's a sound up there. Could be a rat, though. Oh my god. They're still alive. Did you get any food? Yes. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It has to be raw food. Okay, I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. It has to be raw food. This person is starving to death and they won't take a can of food. No, that's offensive. I need raw meat. Well, then... I gotta just load my game, huh? Here is some raw food. Thank you, Anja. You're saving me once again. You're such a kind person. That's so rare these days. That's fine. I just wanted to help. I have some things hidden in the cabinet. Please take them. Okay, thank you. This cabinet? Medication! Saw blade. Oh, I assume... I think that's a one-time use thing, maybe? Uh, but we can use it to cut through metal bars and chains to get to otherwise inaccessible places. And a crap ton of components. Nice. Oh man, look at them. They're not looking good. Let's see if there's just something, anything I forgot, or just left here because I didn't have the room for it. Something that's not stealing. Nah. I took everything I could. Okay, but we're still coming away with a good amount of stuff and the medications are worth it alone. Finally, I have something to give Ruben. I just hope they don't die tonight. The temperature should be okay. I gave him food. Ruben, please be okay. Terrifying how fragile human life is. Okay, they're relatively okay. Let's give them the medicine right now. I probably should have talked to Tito again to see what they need next. Oh well. Alright, still terminally ill, but now they're on meds. I'm once again out of fuel. I really don't want to break more boards because I need to make a bed so I can get proper sleep because just sleeping one night and then going out one night and sleeping one night, that just isn't good enough. I need a bed. I assume a bed will restore me down like two levels of exhaustion instead of one. I hope. So I'm going to break something else. 
I'm gonna break Tito's vinyl records, I'm sorry. But I think it's about the least valuable thing. I mean, you can probably find other copies of those records. I know it's that they're out of print, but you could probably find, find them somewhere. I don't think they're gonna just completely disappear, that music. Let's grab our 10 herbs. So I don't think I can do anything with them. I think I need... I think I need paper to roll them up into if I want to make cigarettes and probably some sort of mortar and pestle or something to make medication out of it. I suppose I should plant more, shouldn't I? It just does take a while to go, so I might as well plant more, right? Yeah, let's make vegetables. Fire stoked. Alright, let's end the day. I really want to get a bed. I don't want to sleep like this anymore. So I'm actually going to go out this time, even though I'm very tired. I don't know exactly what that's going to do. Maybe make us sick? Maybe something worse? But I'm going to do it. So I have a like hacksaw blade thing that will allow me to get through metal bars. Now the question is, what places have metal bars? I know the abandoned house has them, but I don't know if I want to go back there. There's a construction site. Did the Samuel Institute have that? I don't know. This is some materials, some parts. This is lots of weapons, lots of parts. construction site probably has something, right? Let's go there. So I'm going to take it with me, because I'm going to have to use it. Let's go. And I know this place is safe. Although, you know, who knows if other people have shown up since I've been here. Oh yeah, you can see Anja's just... just dragging. Dragging their feet. They're so tired. I don't remember the layout of this place. Oh, here we go. Heck yeah. Screamy cat in the background too. Got four things to loot in here. Yep, one time use. Lifting. The more we have, the better. If times are hard, we can make them into fuel for our heater or stove. Okay. Ooh, thermoregulator. I think I need that to make an improved stove. Can use it to maintain optimum temperature of the heater and save wood. We'll also need it to make a distiller if we want to purify alcohol. Great. I'd love to save wood. That's really important. Unfortunately, the one thing I'm finding very little of is wood. Okay, I need to dump some stuff. Let's dump the parts to get some more components. Hmm. How important is gunpowder? I mean, I don't think I'm going to get a weapon or be making rounds anytime soon. I'm going to dump this. Put parts in its place? Sure. I want to go meet those people that are in here. Because I ran past them last time I was here, found out that they weren't hostile. So might as well talk with them, see if we can, I don't know, learn anything, help them. Maybe they can help us. Can you jump across there? No, you can't. Where were the people? They were somewhere over here on the right. Still don't know how to get there, huh? We gotta keep going up. Hmm. 
is it useful at all for me to go in here? There's just a hiding spot. Why would I even need a hiding spot? If I open that up, I mean, that just looks like it leads to the elevator shaft. Hmm. I'm kind of curious. No. No. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, they're in here. Oh, it won't budge. But I can drop down if I go up. Okay. Do I want any of these? I don't know, what's worth more? Weapon parts or like two things of shell casings? I don't know, I'll take the shell casings, they stack. Feels like more, you know? He's not breathing, is he? He doesn't need to anymore. Did the other person die? I can't even talk with him, shit. Let's uh, yeah, undo this so we can get in here easier next time. I'm sorry about your friend. Yeah, there's nothing there. There's no reason to open that at all. He went to the warmth and accepted him. Oh, God. Can I even fit anything else? Like, I could stack a couple more parts, one more piece of wood. A couple things. I'm certain there's other stuff I haven't looted. Oh, what is this? What is this, like, search? An old mattress, some clothing, scattered personal things, odds and ends. Someone used to live here. There are some papers and drawings among the scattered things, including a plan of the subway tunnels with handwritten notes. These things look like they were scattered in a hurry. Seems that whoever left them didn't have much time to pack. Wood is a lot more important than components to me right now. So I want all that wood. Let's dump. Hmm. Let's dump the shell casings. Okay, that's pretty much full. Is there anything more down here? Have I been in here? Hmm, it's locked. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. I'm hopeful that today I can make a bed, maybe. Maybe a better stove. I don't think they're terminally ill anymore. Ruben got out of bed today. He's eager to help in the daily struggle for survival. Anja looks exhausted. Maybe we're pushing her too hard. <laughs> we definitely are. So, wait, are you saying Ruben is... Oh my god, I can control Ruben now. That is going to make a huge difference. Two people. Okay. Uh, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on day 12 now with two sets of hands instead of one.